Oh, say can you see? Ayun, dito. Dito magandang ipatong yung bagong charcoal grill. Oh man, just look at this beauty. It's the weekend and it's barbecue time. Assalamualaikum, isang napagandang araw, un dia, muy hermoso. A very good day indeed. For today's video, we are going to do an unboxing and assembly of the very popular cast iron large sportsman grill. A first on this channel. And from what we have gathered, it is one of the best, if not the best, hibachi style charcoal grill and to put it all together all we need is a flathead screwdriver if you take good care of your cast iron cookware it will last forever mare my forever south pittsburgh 30 minutes from chattanooga tennessee is where they make their cast iron cookware since 1896. Okay. I just got this uh, online. I got this for, it was on sale for, uh, I believe $99. Usually it's between $130 to $160. So I got a great deal. Oh, say can you see? Whoa, freshly opened, never been opened. And the first thing that we have is the steel uh, handle. Okay, what do we have here? This is the uh, draft door that controls the uh, the air circulation, basically stronger fire or weaker fire, and then we have the um, the charcoal uh, door. You can open it and close it, so you can add more or take out the uh, charcoals. And I believe this is the bottom. It's supposed to be. Uh, this is supposed to be a very simple uh, assembly. Nuts and bolts. So we have the body. We have the uh, nuts or the screw. We have the bottom grill. This is uh, to keep the uh, the fuel or charcoal from uh, getting to the bottom. And we have the uh, top grill. You can lay it flat or use the uh, the heels. So let's put it together. Oops, nope. <laughs> that line up good. Yeah. I'm 
it too much. It's the other side. Tighten it with the uh, screwdriver. And you put down the bottom rail. Nice. And you just slide in the uh, drop door. Slide it in. There you go. Slide it. Slider. Shut it down and this. Wow. You can uh, put more uh, charcoal or take out more charcoal. And then we have the top grate. And of course, the handle has yes, an open. Uh, and you just slide it in, slide it in, and voila. <laughs> to recap our sportsman's grill assembly, attach the fire bowl to the footed base with the nuts and bolts provided. Do not over tighten. Slide the drop door in the groove area on the front of the footed base. Slide it left or right to adjust airflow. Set the fire door in the two loop holders on the front of the fire bowl. The door swings open to load charcoal or remove ashes. Set the fire grate or the bottom grate. Then slide the wire bale through the holes on either side of the fire bowl. Then place the cooking grate or the top grate on top. And look at that beautiful cast iron grill. Make sure to use it on top of bricks or other fire retardant material and just imagine basting your chicken on the grill thanks for watching you can assemble this uh, on a table but please if you're gonna use it do not use it on a wooden table or anything flammable use this on top of uh, bricks or uh, any uh, non-flammable or, uh, or fire retardant material to keep everybody safe, all right? With this grill, you can make some halal burger, grill some steak, some satay, some kebab, or whatever you wanna cook. You can use this um, charcoal grill for your backyard, for the camping ground. We're planning to use this on our farm, our future farm life. It's gonna be exciting, y'all. And you could uh, you could use this with the with the other uh, cast iron uh, pans, griddles that uh, large or maybe local say. If you enjoyed this video, please cheer us up. Give this video a like. Primos, primos, primos. Subscribe to our channel. Yeah, click that uh, subscribe uh, button. And we'll see you, we'll see you on our next video. More cooking, peace and blessing.